It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today I'm just going to show you guys the teams that I use to get to Masters in Mayhem, the bad four season. First team is the team I almost always start with. The reason is we've got three Magic Candy users, Financier and Clotted. So what's happening here is Financier is giving Clotted a specific damage resistance boost and attack boost. So we have guaranteed boof a boost of power on Clotted's end. We have strong power on Purple Yam's end. The Magic Candy on Squid Ink is going to be very strong too. And Vampire is really good with the Insignia because you get not only the Magic Candy Feather Revival once you're at level 10, but you get the Feather Revival that we have here in this team as well. So between all of those pieces and components, we're dishing out a lot of damage really quickly, and we have two really heavy tanked units, which is Financier and Yam, to help keep the team afloat, and usually are the last ones surviving if the other ones get beat out. The toppings that we're using are damage resistance on Purple Yam, cooldowns on Financier, because we want that immediate activation for Clotted. We have critical on Clotted, so that we can do that crit damage as soon and as quick as possible. We have criticals on Squid Ink, same same thing going on right there. And we have attack on Vampire since the skill itself gives crit. Our second team, this is also our main team as the battles that we usually use because team three is our filler team and I'll explain that in a minute. So team two, yet again, we're using the Feather and the Insignia. That's because T-Knight and the Feather go really well together. We have a Claire in the back here so that when we do get kills, we get the shields. That gives our team just a slight advantage over other teams that are not using shields or cookies that can remove shields. And so that's very helpful. We have Caramel Arrow, Werewolf, and Brew, who all three can do exponential damage as far as units solo on their own. And so between that, we have four units that are going to deal a lot of damage, as well as T-Knight that's usually going to be the survivor taking on the brunt of the team if the other four go down. The toppings that we're running on them are the damage resistance on T-Knight, we are running speed toppings on Brutes so that we can get as much stuns and as fast as animations as possible because it's a speed battle. We are running speed toppings on Werewolf because we want that damage relative to injury that's happening every time Werewolf applies injury to the opponent. We have critical toppings for Caramel Arrows so that we get the most amount of damage with our explosive stacks. And we have damage resistance for Eclair also going through. Now, Team 3, this team does not come up often, but when it does, it still packs a very powerful punch. So what's going on with here is that we have shield removal from Dark Cacao. We have an extra body coming from Crunchy Chip, as well as the attack speed reduction. We have silencing and the injury from Expresso, as well as injury from Dark Cacao. We have defense reduction from caviar cookie and we have healing reduction as well as extreme area damage from black pearl so the nice thing about this team is that it can deal a lot of damage and a lot of debuffs in a lot of different ways so we're running crit toppings on crunchy chip we are running hp toppings on dark cacao because you can get more hp than you can get damage resistance from the base settings and jacking up Dark Cacao's HP to a huge number actually does really well. We have damage resistance on our Caviar because usually he will die very quickly if you do not run something like that. We are running attack on our Expresso so that we get the most amount of damage. And we are running cooldown for our Black Pearl so that her skill can help her dodge incoming attacks before having to worry about just dying right away from all the damage that usually comes in her direction. But yet again, this is the filler team, so you can run a different filler team. This one's a pretty strong one though, because it still can contend with other forces that people will put in their back line. But this is the order that I've been running them and the toppings that I've been using. And so I was able to get to Master 5, usually just waiting a day, refreshing, going through about 10 battles, waiting refreshing going through as you can see we have 13 days left but hopefully this is helpful for you i'm personally not going to pursue much further the master five i just wanted the statue 
if you want to keep battling upward, you can 100% do that. So I hope this team is helpful for you, and I hope that this setup is going to get you to Master 5 so that you can at least get that statue if you want it. And I really hope that this is just overall helpful to your progression and gameplay. Thank you so much for coming to stop by and watch, and I hope you have a wonderful day.